Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 6th August, the former Chief of Air Staff, Air Chief Marshal Arup Raha was speaking at the Chanakya Dialogues on dwindling fighter squadron assets where he disclosed about a bomber being acquired by Indian Air Force. On further questioning by Bharat Karnad, the former chief confirmed that aircraft in question is Tu-160. Bharat Karnad is an emeritus professor in National Security Studies at the Center for Policy Research, Delhi, and a national security expert. He was also involved in drafting India's nuclear doctrine. Recently, he has published Natkil, where he has mentioned Indian Air Force will finally get a strategic bomber. As per Bharat Karnad, the negotiations with Russia are apparently in final stages for securing on lease 6 Tu-160 White Swans. At present, Russia has built 35 of them and if lease 6 to India, it will left with 29 bombers. Talking about Tu-160, it is a supersonic variable sweep wing heavy strategic bomber. As of 2022, it is the largest and heaviest combat aircraft the fastest bomber in use and the largest and heaviest variable sweep wing airplane ever flown. The Tu-160 resembles US Air Force Rockwell B-1 Lancer as both bombers have sweeping wings design and can achieve supersonic speeds. But the B-1 Lancer is smaller and was designed to be a traditional bomber while Tu-160 was built to be a standoff weapons platform. It is called white swan because of a white reflective coating which is applied to the bomber. This white coat protects the crew from the explosion which creates bright fireball and emits thermal energy after the nuclear explosion. The Tu-160 features two internal weapons bay where it can carry 45,000 kg of nuclear or conventional weapons including long-range nuclear missiles. Each of the two internal rotatory launchers can hold six cruise missiles or 12 AS-16 kickback short-range nuclear missiles. It has maximum speed of 2.05 Mach and cruise speed of Mach 0.9. It has massive range of 12,300 km without in-flight refueling, cruising speed of 0.77 and carrying 6 kh 55SM dropped at mid-range with 5% of reserve fuel. The bombers are must to have when a country want to project its power and influence thousands of miles beyond its territorial boundaries. The countries operating these bombers such as Russia, USA and China have dispute and conflict beyond their territorial boundaries. In contrast, India had no aspiration for expanding its territory beyond and its conflict were limited to Pakistan and China. India can still bomb its enemy territory without having a strategic bomber. India has most strategic weapons like ballistic missiles, both nuclear and conventional, which can be launched from land or sea. India operates fleet of six squadrons of Jaguars specialized in ground attack. Besides. 12 squadron of Su-30 MKI can fire 32 saw bombs or a BrahMos supersonic cruise missile. The new quad rack of Su-30 MKI enables the fighter to carry 20 bombs of 120 kg. However, these fighter can still not deliver the nuclear missile or hypersonic missile or do carpet bombing like a strategic bomber. Strategic bombers are expensive assets and will be heavily used only during wartime. So the question is, should India acquire strategic bombers or focus on its offensive and defensive capabilities by increasing its squadron of fighter jets, which is already declining? As far as nuclear deterrence goes, outnumbering China's strategic bombers and missiles would almost be an impossible task in the foreseeable future. Considering the vast geography of China, it won't be possible to target deep inside the Chinese territory. At the same time, Chinese bomber can reach most of the Indian cities, airports and defense facilities. The strategic bombers like Tu-160 can act as a standoff weapon platform and will enable India to deliver huge weapon payload including future hypersonic missile deep inside the Chinese territory.
If the air base for these bombers are located in southern central India, it will be much safer from adversaries' radar and can still perform deep penetration strike. These bombers can threaten both China and Pakistan while getting the Indian Air Force its due recognition of a global aerospace power. However, what's your opinion about the strategic bomber? Should India procure these from Russia or focus on increasing its squadron strength of fighter jets? Please let us know your opinion in the comment section. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.